Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. So today I'm gonna go to the gym. This morning I have a Primark return to do for some of the bits that I tried on that I wasn't really liking. And then I haven't got a filming day today as such. I wanna vlog like a little bit today, but I'm probably not gonna vlog too much today. I'm hot now, I was cold a minute ago, but now I'm hot. I'm just wearing this Primark t-shirt for my workout and then I've just got some leggings on. I feel really bloated, so I just kind of like wanted something loose and baggy because I've been eating terribly this time when I've had my period. It's been so, so bad. I've literally had like zero self-control. I had four cookies yesterday and like a caramel golden whisper bar or whatever they're called. So, so bad. Um, but today I'm going to try and keep it as clean as practically possible. But the reason why I wanted to vlog today is because I actually wanted to make some of that natural skincare today. So I wanted to make the Jasmine Rice face mask and I'm not sure what else I'm going to make as of yet. I might make one or two other things. It depends. There's like a Jasmine Rice facial toner as well. So I could potentially do that too. And then there's also the turmeric mask but I don't wanna make all three today. I don't really feel like I have the energy to do that. I'm also gonna make myself like a nice little lunch when I get back, I feel like I'm gonna treat myself. So I'm probably gonna do like a ham and egg sandwich cause I got some, I got like a loaf of tiger bread yesterday, like a big loaf of tiger bread. It's so nice. I had some yesterday and it was so, so good. Like really crunchy and crispy on the outside and then really soft and kind of like squidgy on the inside. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. I'm gonna make myself like a nice sandwich. I really try and romanticize my day because I'm feeling a little bit lethargic today. I'm a little bit tired. I'm feeling a little bit, what's the word? I'm feeling like I kind of just want to hibernate today. I'm not sure if it's like the particular time in my cycle where I'm like a couple of days in and I feel like I just want to withdraw. Like I don't really feel like I want to be around too many people today. And I'm actually really having to push myself to go to the gym. I don't really want to be around a ton of people in a loud space. I kind of just want to hibernate inside, but it also could be the weather because the weather is really gray and gloomy outside today and it was raining not too long ago but yeah it's just kind of like a little bit dreary today which is so bizarre considering the weather that we've had recently how it's kind of just like gone back on itself but then what do you expect with uk weather really so yeah i'm not sure i'm just gonna try and like make my day as nice as practically possible for myself. I feel like it's really important today as well. I really, really, really want to journal. and I really want to just like sit and maybe meditate for a bit as well. There's like a few things in my life at the moment that I just kind of want to like get a little bit of clarity about and like just work through. And I feel like life can be so chaotic sometimes. Sometimes you don't know what you want in life. Sometimes you don't know how to tackle a situation or how you need to proceed with a situation because you can kind of sometimes feel like there's never enough time to like sit and be still with the thoughts because there's so much to think about on your day to day that it just like jumbles your thoughts and I need to get really crystal clear there's like some big decisions that I need to make about yeah my life going forward and they're important decisions that I really want to take my time with to make sure that it's something that's gonna like best serve me and serve like my kind of like family unit like my son and yeah it's just oh god isn't adulting fun i mean there's so 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 many amazing parts to being an adult i absolutely love a lot of the things that come with being an adult but then there are sometimes especially like when there are like heavier things that you have to tackle it's like you kind of like almost want to revert back to a kid where you have like somebody making your decisions for you where you don't have to think about what to do for dinner like you just you don't have to think so much as like a child slash teen but it's all good it's just with important things i'm obviously very scared to like make the wrong decision so yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm probably gonna drive because I don't trust that it's not gonna rain again. I might have a little mooch in town depending on whether or not the rain holds out. I'm not really sure, but today I wanna kind of like do something that's gonna lift my mood a little bit because I feel a little bit flat today. So I feel a bit flat, I feel a bit tired. And I'm gonna do the things that I usually do that combat that. So sometimes that means having a little look around a few stores. I'm also gonna do like my really nice honey decaf coffee that I absolutely love that always puts a smile on my face journaling is a big one to get these thoughts out of my head and down on paper yeah so 
I'm excited to get the day done. I really am. And I've got like a ton of admin work to do today. I've got no sit down videos to film. But yeah, I have got a lot of admin to do. So I'm excited to do some of these fun things like make the nice coffee, make the nice sandwich, do the face mask, and I'll interject that into the day while I'm working too. So, so yeah, I'm gonna head off to the gym now and I will, I'll probably talk to you when I'm back. So I just pulled up at home. I didn't end up going into town because it was absolutely tipping it down when I left the gym and I was like, I'm not gonna walk around town in the pouring rain. So maybe this is like a sign because I've been feeling like I need to hibernate anyway. Maybe this is a sign to just go home and listen to my body also i'm noticing i feel like my face looks really bloated and i think it's where i've had like a ton of refined sugar for like the last week and a half i saw this thing on instagram reels like last night or the night before and it was this girl and she basically did a before and after of when she cut out refined sugar so like her face was kind of like round and puffy not like she didn't look overweight or anything like that it just was like round and puffy um and then she cut out refined sugar and she looked like a different person it was like more chiseled slimmer it just looked so much smaller so I definitely need to get back onto the healthy eating because I feel like it's impacting my energy levels it's also impacting my mood and it's also impacting how I'm kind of like feeling about myself well I felt really self-conscious in the gym today because I was so bloated and I know this is really silly like a body is a body like it can't look perfect all the time but I felt uncomfortable I felt heavy and I felt like I was struggling to do the full range of movements that I usually do and I think that it's down to like what I've been eating obviously I'm a bit lethargic because of my cycle and stuff like that but I do feel like the food that I've been eating has had a part to play I'm still going to eat the sandwich because obviously I have to get through that bread but I definitely think that I'm going to cut the refined sugar now like it's just enough is enough I've had it every single day for the last week and a half and I don't need it in my system it doesn't make me feel good and I actually feel like I feel like I'm in a bit of a bad mood today um which is not like me I'm usually very upbeat I'm like I have different moods obviously like I'm only human and I can get frustrated with things but more often than not I'm very kind of like I'm a very happy bubbly person and today I actually feel like not just down I feel like in a bad mood like I actually got road rage there and I never get road rage and all that happened was this woman went round the roundabout and I had to slam my brakes on because she wasn't indicating so yeah I um was a little bit vocal and I don't do that I used to when I was younger but I don't do that anymore and so I feel like I've regressed a little bit which is annoying i'm gonna leave my returns in here because they need to be done at some point but i'm wondering if it's a sign that there's like one more thing that i was on the fence about the dress that i tried on i'm not sure whether or not i'm gonna return that maybe this is a sign that i should hence why i didn't get to do the return because it's like no return it with the dress as well i was gonna try it on and then i was like oh i'm just doing the return now and if i don't like the dress then i'll just return that at a later date but it's fine, so I'm gonna head on up, make myself something to eat now. And I'm thinking I'm gonna try and do my admin stuff first while I have a tiny smidge of energy. And then I'll let myself do the pamper stuff maybe like a little bit later. Or should I do it and like have the mask on while I'm working? I'm not sure, but I'm getting fidgety because I need a week, so I've had a ton of water. It's another thing as well is I wanna up my water because I've been bad with that. Apart from like on the days where it's been hot, I've been really bad about drinking water like the last couple of days the weather has just like dipped again which I'm not complaining about at all because I really struggle in the heat it's very hard for me in the heat I'm not like a summer gal whatsoever I love the warm weather don't get me wrong but it's when it gets to peak summer and it's really really hot to the point where you have to be strategic about the times that you're leaving the house where you're going what you're packing because you have to pack a ton of stuff to make sure that you're hydrated to make sure you've got sun protection to make sure that you've got a hat to make sure that you've got this that this that and then chuck a toddler in the mix as well to make sure that they're safe and they don't get heat stroke or burn out you know, it's just, it's very difficult. And like, obviously the night's not sleeping real because I can't sleep if I'm hot, like especially if I've got hot feet. 
I much prefer like a colder night where I can really get snuggled up and I can really sleep like a little bear hibernating. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of loving today's weather, but I wonder if that's like a reflection of my mood. I was thinking this while I was driving, I was like, is it bad weather because I'm in a mood or am I in a mood because the weather is bad? Can you imagine if we had control over the weather with our emotions? Right, I really need to go. I also carried my beautiful Goya tote. I have a video on this bag. It's still one of my favorite to use. I use this a lot when I go to the gym because I feel like it's not too, too much of a stand-up brand. It is now. I feel like it's picking up on social media because a lot of people are wearing it, but I still feel like it's subtle enough to wear people aren't going to want to go my locker and nab it like if i had like an lv bag then that's very obvious isn't it but yeah it's just such a beautiful bag and it fits so much stuff in there and i love that it's kind of like even though it's leather it's still got some give to it so you can really pack it full love that for me okay oh my god where's my key i really need a wee i'm back upstairs and I quickly changed. I did like, cause I can't be bothered to have like a bath or a shower right now. So I did kind of like a little wet wipe wash, if that makes sense, like where I was sweating, like under my arms. I always do like my back slash like top of my shoulders because I get really sweaty there. And sometimes I can get like a spot or two there. So I just wanted to kind of like freshen myself up a little bit and I'll have like a full on, I'll probably have a bath later. Um, but I've just put some comfies on. I've got my Primark jumper that I absolutely live in now because it's not too thin, not too thick. It's like the perfect jumper because it's still not cold, cold, but it's enough to where you just need like your arms covered. And then I've literally just put like some sweatpants on. I've got my cup of coffee. I thought it would be fitting because it feels like an autumnal day because it's again, tipping down. I feel like it's fitting to have an autumnal themed mug. So I've got my little fox cup that I absolutely love using. I try not to use this in the summer so that I can really utilize it in the colder months. I also am just gonna have a little snack because it's a bit too early for lunch. So I'm gonna have the Deliciously Ella apple and raisin oat bar with a little cinnamon. So they just look like this. They're my new favorite cereal bars to have. I love, love, love them. Journals out and ready to go. I think I might like sit up the table, get myself nice and cozy. Sorry, I'm looking at some building work that's happening over there and something moved and it caught my eye. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling really quickly. I think I'm gonna use this to like try and get myself in a more clear and positive headspace. And then I'm gonna crack on with some work. I'm actually really looking forward to doing this. I'm also gonna have a quick look online and just get some journal prompts. Usually I don't do that. Usually I just kind of journal and like brain dump onto paper, but today I actually think that I'm gonna go for some prompts because I feel like the way my mindset is today, I feel like I'm gonna sway more towards the negative. Whereas the prompts will make me think about the positive it'll actually force me to think of, okay, well, what's the positive that I can take away from this situation? Da, 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 da. Does that make sense? So yeah, oh, and if you're interested where this ring is from, I haven't worn this in ages, but I busted it out yesterday and I'm just obsessed with it again. It's from Read Your Heart. The reason why I don't wear it that much is because I got it in a relatively big size. I can't remember what size I got it in. Where it's been hotter, my hands have been a bit more swollen, so it's fit me a lot better but yeah in the colder months it just doesn't stay on my finger which is so sad because i'm obsessed with this ring like i absolutely love the style of it it's a sterling silver rhodium plated ring i believe with a moissanite stone so a lab grown diamond so so stunning i absolutely love this i have got a video up it's my first ever collaboration with read your heart where I featured this and there's links for this ring because it is still available on their website. I saw it there not too long ago, but I'm just obsessed with this ring. I wish I could wear it all year round. Maybe potentially I can get it in a smaller size at some point, but I just think that it is the most stunning ring. I love how it sits, like the setting of it. It's quite high, if that makes sense. And it's just very standout, very elegant. So yeah, I've been really enjoying wearing this. Like I mentioned, I wore it yesterday, but I didn't wear it to the gym earlier. I wore my like aura ring, like my aura ring dupe. Okay, I don't wanna get through all my coffee while I'm talking, so I'm gonna drink my coffee and journal.
Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. So today I was up and out relatively early, went to town. I went to Poundland, Tesco's Express, because I had to do a return. Poundland, because I needed to get a few bits, so I'll show you those in a second. And then I went to the card factory, because it's my cousin's baby shower tomorrow, and I needed to get her a baby shower card. So I just got her this really cute one. It's so, so sweet with this little umbrella with the little confettis inside i'm not sure if they're called confettis or sequins i'm not sure what you'd classify them as but yeah it's a super cute card and then it just has a sweet little message on the inside i thought that would be a really sweet card literally the second i saw it i knew that, that was the one that i wanted to get her she's having a little boy and she's due i think she's due this month so yeah got a few bits from town then i went to tesco's did a quick food shop so i'll show you the bits that i got from there nothing too exciting but i just thought i'd show you nonetheless mm -hmm. just needed to get some mayo flavored water for smoothies apple and mango juice for theo's breakfast he loves having juice with his breakfast and this is just pressed fruit there's no additives or anything extra in there then i was really intrigued by kombucha i kind of just wanted to try it it said about like gut health and stuff like that and it actually has live cultures inside so i'm really excited to try that i was going to go for the mixed berry flavor but then i saw the strawberry and peach i used to love peach juice when i was a kid and i love anything strawberry flavored so went for this one so i'll give you my feedback on this because i've never tried kombucha before like i feel like it's more of an american thing i hear a lot of american people online talking about having kombucha but i don't really hear about it much in the uk so if any of you are from the uk and you've tried it what did you think of it because i know that it's a relatively common thing in the usa but not so much over here um the only way i know about it is from the american people that i follow online and then just got some red onions some potatoes for making like homemade chips some wholemeal pizzas didn't get too much meat this time around, but I just got a couple of things. I got some turkey mints and some chicken thighs. I'm thinking of doing like a chicken dish for dinner tonight. So to go hand in hand with that, I got some tender stem broccoli. I think I'm also going to do some like pickled carrot shavings and then I'm going to do like red onion. And then to go alongside that chicken, I'm gonna do egg fried rice and then I'm gonna do a satay sauce for the chicken and I'm just being lazy so I just got like a packet sauce. Two packs of wet wipes because they seem to just go missing in my relatively small apartment so I'm not really sure where they end up going to but I can never hold on to a pack for very long. Some fruit sachets, I've gone for apple and mango and pear and apple. These just come in so handy when I don't want to make my own sauce and I want my son and myself to have a relatively healthy dinner. This has absolutely no sugar in it. It's a bolognese sauce. It's literally just herbs and vegetables. I've got a red pepper because my son wanted to get a red pepper. Might use it for tonight's dinner. I'm not sure whether or not it's going to go with the satay though. And then that's everything that I got out of Tesco's. Then from Poundland, I just got a few bits. My son saw this little puzzle and he loves doing puzzles. So I picked this one up for him. This is going to be relatively easy for him. He does larger puzzles than this, but it's just nice because it has a little bit of a border. So this will be handy for maybe like we want to take it out with us. Next from Poundland, I just got some cling film, some salted pistachios because they are one of my favorite snacks. And then anyone who's a frequent viewer on my channel and watches my vlogs, you'll know about this, but my favorite body spray, which is the Pure Elegance one. It's the Pore Femme one, and it's just like a little body mist. This smells so expensive. The way that I discovered this is because a girl was wearing this in the gym, and I asked her what she was wearing because she smelled so good. And she showed me, told me her little secret, and I've been buying it ever since. And I just absolutely love this smell. Like I say, it just smells so much more expensive than it is this is literally one pound oh it smells so so good so that's everything apart from at tesco's express i also picked this up because i was so intrigued by it white I'll chocolate and chocolate. milk chocolate i was just suckered in and my son I'll wanted it too chocolate. you want to see it too don't open it don't open it you've had your treat that's not for you. So I have still been going strong on the sauerkraut, having this every single morning. So I'll have this as soon as I wake up on an empty stomach. I'll also have my collagen drink. I kind of want to do like a day in my life or like just a bit more of a, I don't know, like 
spend the day with me, maybe what I eat in a day sort of thing. So if you're interested in that, I'd love to do that for you guys because I'm starting to kind of like have the same things. Oh my gosh, I forgot to show you one thing that I got from Poundland. But back to the sauerkraut. Yeah, I've been having this every single day and for some reason it was like a really cold and gloomy day today. So for some reason I was just craving like a stodgy breakfast. Usually I'm not that way inclined, but this morning I made a chicken burger um, in a bun with pickles and I made like a um, like homemade garlic mayo and it just hit the spot and then I had a banana afterwards as well but yeah now I'm gonna make some lunch and then Bob's is actually gonna go off with his dad for a bit because I need to get a bit of work done because I've got a bit of a deadline for a few things this week and if I don't take some time now then I'm not gonna hit my deadlines for the week so I just need like an hour or so so he's just gonna go and have a bit of time with his dad I forgot to show another thing that I got from Poundland, which is the last thing, which is just this cup. I can't wait to wash this up and use it for my cup of coffee today because it is so beautiful. Is it not? Isn't it a beautiful cup? Do you love it? What are you doing? What are you doing, sweet? I think we're going to have more chocolate. More chocolate, please. Mm, that's very good manners. More chocolate, please. We need to make you some lunch. More chocolate, please. Would you like a little bit in your snack plate? Why don't you go and sit down then and mummy will bring you a little snack plate and maybe there'll be a square of chocolate in there for you. Okay? So yeah, we're going to have some lunch now. I'll wait until Bubs has left to have my coffee because I really want to enjoy it. But this is really good quality. I'm really impressed with it because for such an inexpensive cup, it's like really thick and like super durable so very happy with that i think i need to go through my cup collection maybe just weed out a few things donate a few things because i'm noticing that i don't use a lot of the cups that i used to have like in my old home and i don't need as many cups as i have so i think i'm going to get rid of some and just have like a small collection because i don't really have too too many people over that actually drink hot drinks like my sister doesn't drink tea or coffee my mum, she'll come over and have a coffee, so there's not really too many people and like I very rarely have friends over. If I see friends, I usually meet them out, so I don't need as many cups as I actually have. I just got a parcel that I was not expecting to get today. This is a ring that I ordered off of Etsy and I am so excited to see it. I didn't think it was coming, I thought it was going to come tomorrow because it said that it was processing at their hub today. That was like the update for the day, so I was like, oh, it's, it's obviously not going to come today. So we've got a little plastic box. I can't remember the name of the gemstone. I'll leave it on the screen so that you can see, but it's the most beautiful ring. It reminds me of like the night sky. That's why I bought it. Cause I'm obsessed with the night sky. Oh, it's tight. Oh no. I could wear it on this hand, but I don't want it on this hand. I want it on this hand. It's kind of tight on that hand too. I think I'm gonna have to return it. Which is such a shame. My hands are hot, but still, that's not... I like my rings to be bigger than that, so I'm going to have to return it. It is absolutely stunning. So if you do like the look of it, I'll leave it linked in the description box for you guys. So the kombucha... It is nice, I would say. It's it's a nice drink. You can definitely tell that it's like more on the healthy side, but it is a nice drink to have. I mean, I had like two small glasses of it. So yeah, I'd say it's a winner and I would definitely get it again because sometimes it's nice to have like a refreshing, cold, fizzy beverage that isn't like packed full of sugar and isn't alcoholic because obviously I don't drink alcohol. But now I've moved on to my coffee in my new coffee cup and I'm trying a different type of oat milk today but I recently saw a video of somebody saying that apparently oat milk is probably the worst milk substitute that you can possibly use because it gives you such a high glucose spike so if anyone has any recommendations for like a creamy like a thick and creamy milk substitute I'd really appreciate it if you left me a comment because I want to find a substitute but the only thing that I remotely like in my coffee is the Oatly Barista Edition oat milk and every other oat milk that I've tried just has paled in comparison. Like I said, I'm trying another one today and this is the Organic Plenish Barista Gluten-Free 
oat milk and it's made with no oils and no gums so i mean that's like a step in the right direction but still i kind of want to find something that isn't oat milk so yeah anyone that has any suggestions please let me know but i want something that's creamy and has like a decent flavor because i don't like my coffee being this color i added quite a bit of that oat milk and my coffee is quite dark i like my coffee to be quite light and quite creamy it still tastes good but it's not as good as the one that i do with the oatly milk i've also just got myself a little bowl of pistachios to snack on my son's now gone with his dad so i'm gonna get some work done i've got some contracts to go over i've got some emails to respond to and i've also got some videos to edit because i don't know if you've noticed recently but i've been uploading more recently i don't think it's sustainable for me to keep up with three videos a week I think I'm maybe comfortable with two, but at the moment I'm doing three and then I will drop back down to two. So like one kind of like main video, like a sit down video and then a vlog on the weekend. But I would be curious to know um, for like the people that actually watch my content, what content it is that you're interested in watching. Like, are there any things that I'm not producing that you would prefer me to do? Because I kind of just tend to stick to the same things because that's what I feel like you guys like, but I'm open to suggestions when it comes to my content. So if there are any videos or trends that you think that you'd like to see me try on my channel, then I'm definitely open to those requests. I've still got that ring on because I just can't bear to take it off. It's so beautiful. And I can't remember if I said the reason why I like it is because it reminds me of the night sky. I think I did. But yeah, as soon as I saw it, I was just so obsessed with it. And I love like the band placement of it. The fact that it's got like three little bands that connect into one band at the back. Just really beautiful. I just feel like it's quite eye-catching to have like a dark stone. So I've actually contacted the company that I got it from on Etsy, I will take it off in a minute because obviously if I'm returning it, then I shouldn't be wearing it. But I um, contacted the company that I got it from from Etsy and asked if I could just send this back and exchange it for a larger size because I really, really love this ring. It's so stunning. So today's outfit, I went for something really casual. My hair's like super greasy, so I literally just like slicked it back into a ponytail. And then I'm wearing this oversized, like, stripy shirt. And then I've just tucked it into my um, Primark trousers that I live in. And then I wore white plimsolls. And then I carried this bag, which I'm so obsessed with. I still love having this bag in my rotation. Even though I've had it for a decent amount of time, I wear this bag relatively quite frequently because it's a good, spacious bag. I can fit, like, a ton of stuff in there. And I actually found in my son's buggy my Sula sweets. If anyone hasn't tried these yet, these Sula sweets are so good. They're sugar-free sweets. Um, and then the butterscotch drop. So they're exactly like Werther's Originals. Literally exactly the same. But a fraction of the price. And they're, like I mentioned, sugar-free. They're so, so good. I mean, I'll show you one. But I can guarantee you <laughs> would assume that they'd look like this anyway. But just so you see them. But yeah. He found those. I also, looking in my bag now, I'm gutted. I've taken it out. I went and bought my son something yesterday from the works. And they don't accept these gift cards anymore. Not the gift cards, sorry. The points cards. The point system in the works was really, really good. And I actually managed to rack up a decent amount of points to where, like, two of my purchases were free. But they've completely scrapped it now. And I think it's because the point system was so good that maybe the company was losing out on money. But I went to pay yesterday and they were like, oh, sorry, we don't accept those anymore. And I was just like, oh, no, you're kidding me. Because that's one thing that kept me going back to the works was how good the point system was. But never mind. I can't remember if I updated you on my day yesterday. Yesterday was my working day and usually I vlog on a Thursday. But my day was actually quite fast paced. So... I got up, I had a session in the gym, one of my best sessions to date. It was such a good session. 
Then I met my son with his dad in town because I was meant to be meeting my friend for coffee, but she was running a little bit late. So I quickly went and saw them in town, then went and met my friend for coffee. Then my son's dad actually had work for an hour. So my son came and hung out with me and my friend in Costa while we had our drinks and I got him like a drink and a cookie and we were chatting and came with this new like supermarket checkout till thing that I had literally just bought him from the works, the thing that I bought from the works. And then me and my friend had a little mooch around town. We went and had a look in some of the shops, like some of the shops that I would never dare of going into with my son like pro cook because they've got like a lot of crockery out and a lot of smashable things in there so i never go in there but i always walk past it because i walk that road a lot and i'm always like oh i'd love to go in there but i can't take a toddler in there it would literally just be like letting a ball loose in a china shop we went and had a look in there and then i came back did some work prepped dinner and then it was literally the end of the day. Like yesterday just went so, so fast. Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. So I'm making breakfast. I've done some jam on toast for my son and I'm just making some eggs. But today is gonna be a relatively chilled day. I'm gonna take my son to Dobby's, which is like a frog play slash garden center. And then they have puppies there too. So I hope you can hear me over the eggs because they, they seem quite loud, but yeah, I'm making some fried eggs for breakfast. Sometimes I do boiled, sometimes I do scrambled, but today it's fried, just two eggs, because I'm not that hungry. I've got my collagen drink. I haven't started that yet, because I'm gonna start my morning off with my sauerkraut. So yeah, breakfast is ready. It's like a really simple, basic breakfast. So the two fried eggs, and then I'm gonna have a banana, because it got opened and the bananas are starting to turn now so I need to kind of like eat them quickly and then like I mentioned I've got my collagen drink so this is hydrolyzed I think that's how you say it hydrolyzed collagen so yeah plan for today is going to Dobby's I'm also going to take my son to the pet shop he loves doing that this is basically just like a random day because it looks like it's going to be a rainy day so I need to find indoor activities to do so yeah, Dobby's, the pet shop, and then maybe we'll have a mooch around like places like Home Bargains and maybe Dunnell, maybe stop off at a cute cafe somewhere and have something. But um, I'm feeling quite sleepy today. I had a really kind of like rough night with Bubs. So he woke up around 11.30 last night. My neighbors upstairs were doing laundry and it was on like the spin cycle where it goes like really fast and really loud so that woke him up at like 11 30 and then by i managed to settle him down relatively quickly and then by 12 30 he was up again and got in my bed then i had to go back in his bedroom because he realized he didn't bring his teddies in with him so i had to go and get him his teddies and then he was just unsettled so he kept waking up so i've not had the best night's sleep i'm not sure if it shows on my face I did some um, self tanner drops on my face. I think it's called the skinny tan. Wow, we did it. And yeah, I used some face drops on my face just to like give myself a bit of color and I think that it's paid off. Let's see if you this one. I used them a couple of days ago because I had the skinny tan face drops before and they worked amazingly. But then I bought them recently and they changed their packaging. And the first time I used them, they didn't work. I used four drops, mixed it in with moisturizer, and I woke up and I literally looked just as pasty as I did the night before. So last night, I used four drops without moisturizer, then did moisturizer, and then I added an additional four drops. And I think it's worked. Today I'm actually meant to be at that baby shower in Cambridge, but, um, my mum isn't very well today so um she was meant to be my lift because my car's in the garage and she's come down with a cold so i can't go which i'm gutted about but i said that i'll pass on the present and the card that i have for my cousin 
to my nan so that she can get it because she's due very very soon so i'm assuming that i'm not going to see her anytime soon and i want her to have her gift i know people are going to hate me for this but i'm really enjoying the weather how it's been the last few days not so much the rain but the colder weather living for it like i like putting on a little cardigan i don't like sweating profusely and being really lethargic because i'm hot it's not for me so everybody's like where's the summer where's summer we haven't even had summer yet and i'm secretly like i want a pumpkin spice latte <laughs> um i keep actually seeing things on instagram about so and so many days until christmas and i keep seeing like people making sugar cookies and all these different christmas songs and like the uh, the michael buble it's beginning to look like christmas a song over the top and i'm not gonna lie it's making me really really excited like i love autumn and winter probably my favorite time of the year and there's just something about it there's something in the air and i'm really looking forward to it but i cannot believe that we are in july already it absolutely blows my mind the year is going so so fast and i cannot believe as well that my baby is going to be four in a few months that's just bananas to me but anybody else out there that has kids what was your favorite age because at the moment i love the newborn i've loved every stage so far but this stage at like three and a half close to four i am really enjoying it for a few reasons should i put my glasses up so that you can see my face without the reflection so i love it for a few reasons um i love the fact that he's much more conscious about things so um like we have like conversations and he asks a lot of questions but i love that and he's so curious about everything and he's so excitable about everything and like you know i'll be like oh my god this is so cool and then it buzzes him up and he's like heavily influenced by me because then he'll be like oh my god this is so cool and i just really love this age like the conversations that we have also like some of the things that he comes out with like i put him to bed a couple of nights ago and um he just randomly said to me he's like mom your voice makes me feel safe and i was just like oh my god literally like fed my soul oh so i've still got that ring on that i got from etsy because I contacted the Etsy store, like the person who owns the Etsy store, and just said that I needed a replacement one um, in a larger size. And she was very generous and actually offered to send it to me for free and said that I could keep this one. But this is a kyanite stone. I forgot what it was yesterday, but it's a kyanite stone. And yeah, the reason why I love it is just because it reminds me of the night sky. And I'm obsessed with it. I have been since I was really, really young. Um, I remember like my dad used to drive us, like we spent a lot of time at my grandma's house and my dad would drive us home from, well, she lived in West Wickham and she also lived in Bolsham. So we would drive um, back to where we lived from there. I always used to just lean to the side of the window and just look up. And look at the stars like i loved seeing the stars i'm just really curious and fascinated about the night sky i used to really like it um this was like pre-baby when i lived at my old like masonette coach house like it wasn't an apartment it was like a yeah masonette and um i used to go for like evening walks and even took my cat out for an evening walk once that was really sweet and just loved looking up at the night sky it was so peaceful and it's bizarre because i actually only live around the corner from where i used to live so when i go out with my son if i walk a specific way i get to walk past where i used to live and it just brings up a load of memories there because that's like where I decided that I wanted to start a YouTube channel and I really started um, growing my Instagram. I don't do Instagram anymore. Like I've taken it out of my description box if you've noticed. 
and my Instagram is private and I've removed because I think I had like, I think I had like five and a half thousand or something followers on there, which I mean, isn't a huge amount, but I deleted so, 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 so many. I literally only have like 20 something I think now and I, that's really close friends and family. So that's a decision that I made a long time ago. I do TikTok like infrequently, but the main thing that I do is YouTube. I don't really want to be on too many social media platforms. I just think it's too much. And then you've got like Pinterest, you've got Lemon 8. There's just so many things out there, but I just, I can't spread myself that thinly. Like YouTube takes up enough of my time working on this. So obviously my son doesn't go to preschool or school or nursery or anything like that. So I have him predominantly most of the time, but he goes to his nans and um, he's with his dad for a few hours two days a week so every other opportunity that I get to work will be when he's asleep or um like I'll do like a tiny bit of admin sometimes when he's playing or things like that so I have to work things around my son um so yeah I don't really have that much free time to like work on other things I don't know where this conversation came from but I'm gonna finish my banana get ready and then we're gonna head out for the day. So I'm pretty much ready to leave. I've gone for a really simple basic outfit because I wanna be comfy. It's not cold, but it's not warm either. So I've gone for, I mean, I wear this literally all the time now because it's my favorite top, but it's just this lightweight Primark jumper. The reason why I love it is because it's thin enough to wear. It doesn't make you too hot, but it's just a little layer on your arms. And I just really like the design of it. I feel like it looks very kind of like classy and put together. And then I've got my linen style pants as well, again from Primark. Then for bag, my son actually chose this this morning. I wanted to go for a black bag to go with the trousers. And seeing as how he's probably gonna wanna be carried today, I'm just gonna go with a shoulder bag. I was gonna go with the um, the YSL sac de jour tote bag, um, but I'm glad that he picked this one because it means that when we're in the pet shop, which happens all the time, he asks to be carried and I can hold him a lot easier if I have a shoulder bag. So yeah, I'm just wearing this one. I absolutely love this bag and I haven't actually worn this in a little while. Simple jewelry, just basic studs that I never interchange. I literally just wear them all the time. My kyanite ring from Etsy. And I think that's it on jewelry. I'm gonna wear my glasses. I can't be bothered to put contacts in and I've literally just put my hair in a claw clip, I've not done anything fancy or whatsoever. Literally all I did was brush it, chuck it up in a claw clip. I'm just gonna finish getting Bub's dress and brush his teeth and then we're gonna head on out. I've gone for like really simple basic makeup. You'll have to ignore these bits. Now this is from where my glasses sit on my face. Really basic makeup. I've literally put a dot of foundation under my eyes. I've covered any spots or like acne scars because I haven't got any active spots at the moment and then I've just put a little bit of cream blush on my cheeks and one layer of mascara I've started doing less mascara I used to do like two or three layers now I'm just doing one just because I want my lashes to look like I have lashes but I don't like them to be like too in your face so yeah that's the look for today I feel like now that I'm looking at myself I feel like I look really messy but this will do I'm literally just gonna go and play in a soft play and go and see some puppies maybe a latte as well so yeah i'm excited let's go
I'm looking much more disheveled now because I've been out in the rain and the wind and it's just, we're just going to ignore that. But I just want to show you the few little bits that I got from Home Bargains, nothing too interesting, but my son was adamant that he wanted these Heroes yogurts, so I picked these up. I then needed bin bags and I got these swing bin liners. I love these ones, they're really inexpensive and they have scented ones. They have like lemon rose, but I got the vanilla ones. I've already gone through a pack of these. They're just like wafer, like um, rice cakes with a layer of dark chocolate on top. I got two packs because I knew that I wasn't going to get home before finishing this pack. So we now have a backup. I need some pens because all my pens seem to be running out. So I just got this pack of like little ballpoint pens. They seem to last like a relatively good time. The ones with the ink I don't like as much just because they like seep and they take ages to dry and they smear. Then I got my son some sunglasses because he's broke and I don't know where his other ones are. So he does have a pair somewhere, but I just wanted to get these. They're really cool and they were really inexpensive. They're only £1.49. So thought that was a really good deal for some kids with sunglasses. Then I wanted to get a candle for the little table that I have in my living room next to my sofa. I've got crumbs in it now. Um, and I just picked up this wild jasmine one. It smells really, really nice. And it was super cheap. I like these ones. Mm, it smells really good. Really like fresh. And I got my son a sandwich, which he's eating now. And then the only other thing that I got is this Highland Spring Blackberry Plum and Hibiscus Sparkling Spring Water. So I thought I'd quickly try it with you guys. Because I love finding like good soft drinks to have. So I thought I would try this one out. Mm, it's really nice. It tastes really fresh like it's naturally flavored um and it says no added sugar no artificial sweeteners either so mm. i'm really happy with that that's nice i think now me and bubs are probably gonna have like a movie afternoon it's been raining loads it's still raining now and it just feels like a like it feels like an opportunity to have like a bit of a cozy day so I think I'm gonna like draw the curtains I'm gonna light a candle gonna make us both a hot chocolate and yeah we're gonna put a movie on so I'm thinking that I might watch Leo on Netflix he saw the trailer for it yesterday on Netflix and he seemed to really like it so it's got Adam Sandler or Sandler however you say it in he voices one of the characters he's like a lizard or something like a class pet yeah, I'm really excited to watch that. I'm hoping that he enjoys it because he kind of sticks to the same type of things to watch again and again, but we'll see. But I'm just loving how cozy today is feeling, like so cold and rainy outside. And it's nice to now be like cozy and warm inside. So yeah, I'm gonna go and prep some hot chocolates and we'll see what we end up doing with the rest of the day. <laughs> 